The speed of light in a material has some small dependency on its wavelength. So this is called the dispersion of light in a material. So if we look at this, this equation here, where we have n is equal to the speed of light in vacuum over the speed of light in the material itself, the speed of light in the material will actually vary depending on the wavelength. Uh, speed of uh, light or any waves is given by its frequency times its wavelength. Uh, if one has a light wave, then the wavelength is the distance uh, between peaks, like so. And the frequency uh, is the number of cycles per second. So frequency is cycles per second on this here. The frequency does not change uh, as you enter materials or change in materials. But the wavelength actually does. So the speed uh, actually changes with wavelength. So if I introduce wavelength now into this equation, I have frequency over wavelength over frequency, and speed of light in vacuum are constants, and wavelength actually changes a little bit depending on the material density on this here. And this is called dispersion of light waves in a material. And this is the consequence of seeing a prism uh, diffracting white light into a rainbow of colors. So this is what I've set up here. I have a white light source on this here, and it casts a ray of light along the material here uh, through a lens which just basically beams the light along. I have here a prism, and if I put the prism in the light beam itself, light angles into the prism and is bouncing around coming out, and if I angle the prism just right, now you can see a spectrum of colors. So light enters the prism, is refracted on the first surface here, and refracted again on the second surface, and comes out. And because of the wavelength dependency uh, of light in the medium itself, uh, you see the colors spread out. With the greater uh, uh, frequency, the blue coming out at a larger angle than the red on this here. So this is called dispersion of light in a material.